Yo guys, back again with another F122 setup, and this time we're at Spa, which will be the next track in the F1 calendar after the summer break. But jumping right into the setup, I've changed this a little bit, but not too much. Starting with the aero, I've increased the front wing by one point up to 10, and I've lowered the rear by three points down to 14. This will make the car a little bit faster in a straight line, and it'll make it a little bit more front bias than it was before previously, helping you get the front turned in. For the transmission, I've increased the on throttle dip up to 82, now that traction is a little bit easier to find. This will just help push your car through the medium and high speed corners a little bit better. And then I've kept the off throttle dip at 52%. For the suspension geometry, I've left the front camber all the way right, and then I've bumped the rear camber a couple of points right as well, to make it minus 1.6. This will just help the rear of the car grip up a little bit better as you're accelerating in a straight line from the slower corners. Then for the tow, I've kept these both far left as they were in the original setup. For the suspension itself, I've softened the front suspension down to five and I've kept the front anti-roll bar the same at six. And then for the rear suspension, I've stiffened that up to two and I've stiffened the rear anti-roll bar up to three just to make the car more willing to turn in. And then for the ride height, I've bumped this up to five on both front and rear just to help again ride the curbs a little bit easier, make stability a little bit better. For the brakes, I've gone 100% pressure, what 50% bias as per normal. And then for the tyres, I've lowered these a little bit, but not too much the pressures, just to help bring tyre temperatures back in check. I've gone 23.3 on both fronts and 21.3 on both rears. And that was more than enough to keep temperatures in check for a full race. Let me know how you get on with this car setup in the comments below. Hit that like button if you found this video useful. And if you want to see more F122 setups and content, subscribe to the channel. But for now, I will see you on track.